Hi, I'm Daryl White. I am an intersegment surgeon in Cleveland, Ohio, and been practicing for about 30 years. And this is my first day using the Ingenuity Heads Up Display by Alcon. And uh, got to admit, I'm I'm not a nervous guy. I'm not an anxious guy. I'm not a guy who stays up the night before thinking about what my day is going to be like. But I got to tell you, last night I was thinking about what was today going to be like because this is the first time in 10 years that I've done anything majorly different in any of my surgeries. The last major new innovation that I brought into a key core part of my procedure was when I changed from doing or using a mechanical keratome and went to a femtosecond laser, the IFS. That was 10 years ago. And I really liked my mechanical keratome. I was using a Hansatome at the time, and, and man, I thought it was great. And, but that was the last major thing. So last night, finished my conference call, was lying in bed thinking, oh man, it's going to be different. Driving into to the operating room this morning, I'm thinking, okay, here I go. It's going to be like, and Mark, the expert from Alcon was telling me everybody has the same experience. The first case is going to be weird as heck. Second case should be okay. And after the fourth case, it should feel just like riding a bike. And that was pretty much spot on. First case, I couldn't figure out where to put my feet, couldn't figure out where to put my hands. Where do I look? How do I sit? And, you know, basically just turn your head about, I don't know, 15 degrees or so, and boom, there it is, 55 inches of eyeball. <laughs> and the, it was pretty much exactly as predicted. The, the fourth case actually went really nicely, felt kind of natural. And then, of course, you know, I'm not really getting cocky, but I was sort of getting comfortable in the cockpit, and in rolls a patient who can't stay still. And I knew that that was going to happen sooner or later, so it was great that I had the whole Alcon team here uh, to, to help me out. We had Teresa, my lens rep, we had Mark, the, the specialist in the microscope, we had Jeff, who's our equipment specialist, so I had all kinds of people around. And you know, clearly everybody was wondering how it was going to go because all of a sudden the room was silent. And I chased this guy all over the place, and it was weird again, but at the end of the day, it took just about exactly as long to finish the case as it took when I did him two weeks ago using a regular microscope. The rest of the morning pretty much felt normal. It's cool. It is certifiably cool. I enjoyed it, enjoyed the cases. I had a kind of typical borgesmorg of the different kinds of uh, different kinds of things that I do. I put in a couple of panoptics, put in some toric lenses, put in some uh, monofocal lenses, did an LRI. Uh, everything was just normal after that. This was a good experience. Um, I kind of came to it in a weird way. Uh, it turns out that there's a pretty typical pattern that, that people go through when they ask to see the microscope. They see it in a meeting, they see it on a video, maybe they see something on OSN and they say, man, you know, maybe I want to look at that. And they reach out to Alcon, they have trials and things like that. And I, I might be wired a little bit differently or it just might be my generation, but when I was growing up, my, uh, my first partner, a guy named Luke Caravella, uh, would introduce me to people all over the country and I would go visit them and, and watch them do surgeries. And just before the pandemic hit, just before the lockdown, my wife and I were in Florida just for a little break, and I dropped in on Toby Tyson. And Toby is just an outstanding surgeon. I mean, he's just, he, he is rock star. And I went in to watch him operate, and he had an ingenuity, and I was just blown away, absolutely blown away. The idea of not having to put my head in a microscope was really attractive, and so, we reached out through the surgery center where I do a bunch of my cases to Alcon and, and lickety split. We were here, set up, and ready to rock and roll. 30 minutes last night playing around with the goofiest piece of fabric you could ever imagine uh, translated to what was, you know, pretty normal day. So uh, great experience for me. Uh, when I, Shout out to the folks from Alcon, Mark, Jeff, and, and Teresa, who were here today. And, uh, you know, huge shout out and huge thanks to, uh, to Toby Tyson for inviting me into his OR and showing me this new technology. Uh, this stuff rocks, man.